Woo! I'm so dizzy, oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. Oh no. Oh, it's too aerodynamic. What's up painters? Welcome back to this epic chair review channel. I'm not trying to flex on you guys right now, but commissions have been good lately. So I took some money and I went and splurged at Staples in the sale section. And I got this super cheap chair and it's awesome and I love it and got it for a good price. But because we are able to now spend more time at the desk, we are gonna be doing a lot more commissions. So today's video, we are going to be doing another animation. This one is for an intro to somebody's YouTube channel. This is the same person that commissioned California from me last week. If you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely go check that out. It was a cool one. She also wanted me to make an animated intro for her YouTube channel, Hun Bun Fishes. My best friend loves fishing, and every time we FaceTime, he's always like, guess what I'm watching? And I just know you're watching fishing. So I know there are a lot of people that are into fishing, and if you're one of those people, go check out her channel. So yeah, we got to do an animation that's between 5 and 10 seconds. I get to do whatever I want, as long as it's related to fishing, and it's in my style, and it gets the point across that this is Hun Bun Fishing's channel. <laughs> There's always a bigger fish. And I want to take that concept and have like a small little Nemo looking clownfish, more of a medium sized fish come in and eat the clownfish, and then like a big angler fish come and eat that and ow, I just punched the crap out of my knuckle with my ring. Time out. Ow. So yeah, just smaller fish being eaten by bigger fish being eaten by bigger fish. And then in the end, we're going to have her name come in, eat the biggest fish, and then it'll pop up. Hun Bun Fishing. Should be relatively painless. It'll be different than the last animation I did. It was just, hey, make something trippy and weird and visual. And this one, it gets to be more story driven, which I'm excited to do. I really should make an intro animation for my channel, but I don't know. I never do projects for myself anymore. Before we even start this, I broke 13,000 subscribers this week, which was like really awesome. I appreciate that. You guys are sick. So as a thank you for 13,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a box of post-it pens. They are my favorite. Simple to enter, like the video, drop a comment below, share it, be subscribed, and I'll announce a winner sometime next week at the beginning of one of my videos. Thank you for 13k. Really cool feeling. But yee, enough about me. Let's get to Hun Bun's animation. First things first, I'm going to sketch out some ideas for some fish and maybe just like write some stuff about them. Just kind of like let my mind free flow and just sketch out ideas that I have. Uh, I am a filth monster. This chair is so damn comfy, I can't get over it. I did all my rough sketching. I did the clownfish, a puffer fish for our smaller one, an angler fish, and a shark. The shark looks terrible. That's not even remotely being considered. The angler fish is okay, but it's not perfect, so I need to rework that one. I approved the puffer fish, and I approved the clownfish. So next up, I'm just gonna have to go back in and kind of like redo this angler fish and redo the shark and make sure that they actually look remotely acceptable before we bring everything everything into the iPad and make digital versions of all of these in Procreate. So So much better. The only thing that I want to change about this is make the tail just a bit bigger. It just seems a little gimpy there. We're going to redo the tail and then we've got our shark. I'm kind of worried about how big the shark is going to have to be to eat the angler fish, but also be small enough that when I have the Hun Bun name come in to eat the shark, it'll be small enough that it can be eaten. That's like my one worry. And it's supposed to be a, between a five and 10 second animation. And that's where I'm kind of like, I don't know, the shark might not make it in. I am going to transfer in all my approved fish into the iPad, go through, make digital versions of them on Procreate, and then meet back up with you and I will show you our digital versions. Oh. 
artist of the world, make sure you're drinking water. All right, painters, we have one fish, two fish, blue fish. I'm not doing the shark. It's just gonna make the animation too long. I'm gonna have to stick with three fish. I am a fan of how they look digitally done. I was able to incorporate my style in, which was important to me. When people see it, I kind of want them to be able to look at it and go like, oh, okay, like Austin had something to do with this. So I'm pretty happy that like I could take a topic that I'm not really into, like fishing, and still make it mine. It's pretty important to me. So I'm feeling good about this project so far. So now that I have the digital versions of my characters, what I need to do next. I need to go in and make two separate versions of each fish. One where the tail and their fin are like up and one where they're down. That way I can swap between those during frames and it won't just be an image just kind of going across the screen. It'll be like Woo! really bad at describing what's going to be going on. But yeah, I got to go in, make the, all the fin movements and then I'll test all those, kind of make sure that it looks right for like a swim cycle and then we'll drop them all together and just kind of like make sure that a swim cycle looks proper. I don't want the small little clown fish to look like it's like swimming crazy crazy fast. My cat saw that I was working on a drawing of a fish and she got interested because she's hungry. She walked up to me, she said, can I eat those? I said, no kitty, can't eat kitty, no. I'm genuinely surprised that she hasn't smacked me yet. Anyway, we got our fish fins all good and done. Now that they can swim, I have to kind of bring them in, resize everything so it makes sense when each fish eats each other. And then I have to draw three more versions of each fish. One with the mouth closed, one with the mouth slightly open, and then one with the mouth fully open. And then we can cycle through those so when they come in, it's like flat flat, flat, slightly open, open, and then once they eat, it starts to shut, and then once they're done eating, shut again. Three more versions of each fish. <sighs> It's not even so much the animation, it's more the drawing everything that takes forever. Once we get everything done, it'll be smooth sailing. All right, fish fins are ready, our fish mouths are ready. Now I just gotta work on breaking them down frame by frame. I got a frame master list here. This helps me keep track of where I'm gonna be at, how often the fins are gonna need to switch, what frames they should be switching. I'm sure there's an easier way to animate, but how I do it right now, this is it, frame by frame, 30 frames per second. So as you can see, uh, the first 30 frames will just be our little orange fish swimming. Once we get to 31, our pink fish will slowly enter every three frames we have a fin switch up once we get to frame 35 the middle mouth is gonna open same thing keep going fin switch during that and then we'll get to mouth fully open at frame 40 by frame 45 our orange fish will be completely eaten and then our pink fish will get to swim for another 15 frames by himself and then same thing once we get to frame 60 the blue fish will enter it sounds like a lot of gibberish but it's all gonna make sense once I get it done I'm not gonna film this process because having to frame out 150 in individual pictures is probably it's going to be boring i'm just going to keep it real with you so through the power of video editing here you go here is a slowed down version of me framing out this entire thing this is a slowed down version in the final product everything will be sped up it'll all look good i just want to slow it down that way you guys can kind of see like oh yeah like these are individual pictures and you know one at a time they don't look that great but once you speed them up it's like a flip book it looks wonderful check out the 150 plus frames that i just did in a matter of uh, four or five seconds. So there we go. Our fish movement is all framed out. What we gotta do next is make a sea monster out of the name Hunbun. So rough sketched out like a version of Hunbuns where each letter connects to each other. So it could kind of be a sea monster. I think we're gonna make the lettering slime green and then maybe add some eyes all over it just so it kind of looks like a monster. And then the S on the end is perfect because that can be opening up with teeth and that can be the thing that eats. So that's what we've got lined up next. Making our Hunbuns sea monster, yee yee.
Okay, sea monster's done. That's all tracked out with movement. Basically, everything is done right now. All I have to do is make a background. Typically, when I'm working with animations, my project size is 1920 by 1080 pixels. For this background, I'm going to do 5760 by 1080. That's triple the amount of background and the whole reason for that is because I want these fish to like have a lot of time to move through a lot of background and if I was to just do the traditional like 1920 by 1080 the fish were also created on that so they're not going to be able to move very fast and look like they're really going anywhere. I used the watercolor feature in Procreate for the first time. I did a bunch of different blues and purples and greens and kind of got like a really cool water look and then I did a little black foreground and then I lowered the opacity and did some mountains in the back and what I'm going to do is take that base level, drop it into the center, and then just kind of like replicate some mountains on the other sides. So most of our like action will take place in that main like detailed area, but the fish are going to start out in those less detailed but still good side backgrounds. I don't know the proper terminology for this, so side backgrounds is what you get from me. That's what we get. You don't get proper terminology from me. I'm shooting from the hip here. Painters, it's done. My body hurts and I'm exhausted and I smell bad. Oh my god, oh god. It's a little weird to invest so much time into like 10 to 12 seconds, but it's very rewarding in the end to look at it. I already sent a version of it to Hun Buns Fishing to review. She's satisfied with it. I'm pumped, we're done. So without further ado, check out this fishing YouTube intro animation that I just made. So there we are painters, there's our second animation commission for the year. Very honored that people are even considering me to do these projects. I don't consider myself an animator at all because I'm literally each commission that I get, I'm just learning more and more, but I love doing this. I really appreciate the opportunity that people are giving me and it's been an awesome learning experience. Animation's a lot more rewarding because it kind of takes like two of my loves of like art and like video production and just meshes them together. It's all the satisfaction of like making a cool video video and making a cool drawing all in one and I love it. It's really fun. Kind of ready to start working on my own cartoon stuff more but commissions come first so gotta get all these client projects done before I can do my own stuff. Thank you so much to Hun Bun Fishing for giving me the opportunity. Once again thank you for picking up that California piece and thank you for the animation opportunity. I loved working on it. It was cool to like do some stuff that was in my style but also like it's all for somebody else and that's the stuff I like doing. It was really fun. Thank you so much. If you made it this far into the video I want you to go to the comments and type out something smells fishy. You do that and I know that you are a True Space Cult member. None of these people that watch two minutes of a video and then click out. You guys are the real ones. It's actually really cool doing these like type this if you made it to the end because it really does give me the opportunity to see who's watching the whole thing. And it's pretty nice knowing that there are people that are like yeah I enjoy this guy enough that I'm gonna watch his whole eight to ten minute video. Like I, I do appreciate that a lot. You guys are awesome. Once again giving away a box of Posca's. Thank you for 13,000 subscribers. I think we're up to like 13,200 now, which is just going quick. I really, really think we can get to 25K by the end of the year. But yeah, all you got to do, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share this video, please, please share the video and leave a comment. I'll pick a winner next week in one of my videos. So you're going to have to keep watching to know if you've won. Thank you so much for watching. More animation commissions, please. I love doing this stuff. If you got a YouTube channel, let's... Let's make an intro for you. I love doing this. This was super fun. I really, really appreciate the opportunity. Thanks so much to everybody. You're all the best. Until next time, painters. Peace.